Oh, oil prices. To oil production. Oil prices. Oil. It's crude oil. It's of oil a day. Alberta's oil patch. How's it going, everybody? Tristan Powell here. Today in this video, we're talking about what's a better way to transport crude oil. Oil by rail or oil by pipeline? Let's get into it. This video isn't about whether or not we should keep using oil or uh, get start phasing it out. Um, this video is purely about the transport oil, whether by pipeline or by rail. So the first category is what is cheaper, oil by rail or oil by pipeline? And it turns out that pipelines are actually much cheaper for the government as well as uh, corporations uh, to transport oil by than rail. And not only is shipping oil by rail more expensive, shipping oil by rail actually disrupts other products that usually go by rail. So steel, grain, food, uh, timber, gravel, rocks, it all gets disrupted when more oil starts getting shipped by rail. So the second category, locational flexibility. So oil by rail wins here. Oil uh, by rail is more definitely more flexible if you want uh, the oil in a certain location. So if you want the oil to get to somewhere where a pipeline isn't already running, oil by rail is the way to go uh, it, because it takes so much time and it's a long and tiring process to build a pipeline to a certain location. So oil by rail uh, definitely wins locational flexibility. So the third category I'm going to go over is what creates more jobs, uh, oil by pipeline or oil by rail. Uh, it turns out that oil by pipeline does create more jobs than oil by rail. While Trans Canada was building the Keystone XL pipeline in the United States, they hired 9,000 American workers to uh, get the job done. And then a lot of workers then uh, stayed on staff to run maintenance on the pipeline just to make sure it keeps working as it's supposed to. So yes, rail companies do hire more workers when uh, they get these huge oil production demands, but um, it's still nowhere close to how much it, would, it takes to build a pipeline as well as uh, maintain it after it's done building. So the last category I'm gonna go over is uh, safety as well as uh, damage to the environment. Everybody knows that neither pipelines or oil by rail are good for the environment. So we have to choose the lesser of two evils. Pipelines can rupture and trains can derail. And it's especially dangerous if a train derails going through a city. Like what happened in 2013 uh, in the small town of Lac Magantec in Quebec. A uh, train derailed and exploded full of crude oil. Uh, it killed several people and did a whole lot of damage to the town. Uh, my fear is if it becomes more common for uh, crude by rail, uh, uh, that more of this might happen. Uh, might going through your Vancouver community or I know the train goes right through Coquitlam, right through the city of Kamloops. Uh, trains often go through those. Uh, cities so it's scary uh, what a train derailment might happen so just uh, just a thought so my conclusion is as long as we're shipping oil still let's ship it by pipeline just because it's safer and we get more we get more from the oil that we are we have our Canadian oil we get more for it if we do it by pipeline so let's let's do it by pipeline let's uh, not dodge around and do it by rail Let's uh, do it the proper way. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it informational. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, check out my other videos if you haven't already. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.